Mm, that is that is hot. Yeah. What up, y'all? Welcome to tonight's Halloween special, Plumes of Hazard. I am Mass Blast 09. These are my co-hosts, Iron Study 77. We'll just call him Thick Set Stark. Fair. <laughs> Uh, Fubaka, you can just come up. A whole world. new world. <laughs> Sand, Sand Baka, and uh, <laughs> last but not <laughs> the Kylo Reno. <laughs> what up, y'all? What's up? <laughs> I gotta. I, I. I. This is not scripted. I come up with those names on the fly. Okay. <laughs> He's not lying. He does. <laughs> uh, yeah. And the get up is because um, apparently drinking borax is not good. So now I have to have a breathing machine uh, to uh, help me breathe. So. Yeah. Yeah. That, you know, that soap game's a bitch. Yeah. I drank. I drank straight soap last show and not good. So I'm on to making candles now. Word? I support the making of candles. What up, guys? <laughs> Don't mind me. So, as a so I, I, I will say, uh, before we go into uh, what we're vaping, um, so uh, I ran out of uh, fog fluid uh, to put in my fog machine outside. We gave out probably about uh, seven, eight pounds of candy. And... Uh, I had some uh, two and a half year old dark star that uh, I, I vaped a little bit of, and it's, it's just delicious. So I decided to do a little bit of distilled water and dark star in my fog machine. So ah. I, I, for, I forgot about it. I forgot about it. I set it outside. I had it on the back of my Bronco. My parents are outside, wife, the kid, you know, her friends. And the smoke machine goes off for the first time around, and they're like, oh, it smells like coconutty, chocolatey. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's right. I put some Dark Star in there. Dude, it smelled great. Nice. It was amazing. The vapor production was awesome. So cool. That was the first time I tried having a drink in this helmet, by the way. It worked, thankfully. It worked? Good. Good. You it couldn't worked. have a drink in that yeah. helmet. You just get a straw? <laughs> Yeah. I tried to stick a straw through it and it didn't work. What the? I'm looking for some pictures that I had. I mean, it wasn't Tony Stark in the comic. He's like a fucking alcoholic. If he wasn't able to pop open his helmet and <laughs> kick a few yeah. back, I think he fucked up. I don't think he did it through. I think he just had a system in the helmet. That <clears throat> That's probably but, true. That's not. That, that, that intro, though. <clears throat> that is dirty. Player that horns, kids. Player horns. Player. That's right. What did you say? That that was the uh, the best thing that uh, you wish you kept playing in the in your band, being a band geek. Yeah. Uh, I think the caption it was uh, it was actually from an Instagram post. This dude just played a, a live. It was uh, uh, credit credit goes to Alexander Lewis uh, playing on that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. What was the caption of it? When being a band geek, your whole life pays off. Yeah. There it is. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little distracted. I'm trying to find the stinking pictures that I had the other week, and I can't find the damn things anywhere, but I think I just found at least one. So that's pictures cool. of what? Pictures of the uh, one of the things I'm going to talk about tonight, because I didn't think about Ooh. having pictures. And I was like, oh, shit, I should probably have the pictures. Again. Even though I've shared them before on the show, it sure. would make sense to show them. Here we go. Here we go. I found them. Uh, is this a share later kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, for news. Oh, okay. Well, then, should we... Foo, what are you vaping on? Wow. I've got uh, the VF Classic with Billow, with Abolishment. i got the Drip Box with the Narda with no cigar. Yet. Word. Uh, with me, <clears throat> uh, Abolishment is in my Billow Box 4. There's something I can talk about up there, but not yet. Uh, the Dia has got uh, Railcracker by uh, Derailment in it like it always does and last but not least i'm still rocking the unregulated runt uh with the the weekly or the Hadley on oh. top uh and that's got 
Uh, what was it? Piston of betting. <clears throat> Piston of betting is in there. Very mm. Oh, you tried it. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, uh, I have all weekend. Piss Piss betting in the majet. Piss betting. Limeade into pissing. Limeade into pissing. That's what it was. <clears throat> so that's what I got. Trent? Um, I have the Art and Mod Dia with a Narda with uh, Abolishment, as always, and I have the Art and Mod Evo with a Hadley with Pissed. I, I don't I don't change very much anymore. Mast. Oh, someone just said a good Boop. one. You pissed the betting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we might as well just call the Jews R. Kelly then. Um, I, I agree uh, with that. I got my squawker because I was going to set up a, uh, a little hose to come in here, and I have a little bit of Dark Star in there. Uh, two and a half year old Dark Star. That's reserved, reserved, reserved. Yeah. It's amazing. It's still so good. Yeah, I'm a little surprised it's not good. A lot of juices go a little skunk after right. a little while. No. Still good, huh? Dark Star's like fucking wine, dude. <laughs> It's like fucking wine. I mean, and it works great in a smoke machine, so. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Josh? Getting, yeah, what up, Josh? Is he still dead? I still haven't seen him in forever. I haven't either. Yeah. Yeah, and Tooney, I did. I made the mask. It was like, what, like two years ago? Three years ago? Yeah, I, was, I, was in here, I was in here when I was playing with the uh, EL wire. It's all hooked up to a little uh, little battery pack and controller. It's very dark here. Um, we're out there handing out uh, handing out candy, and you got music playing. It actually goes to the to the beat of the music. <laughs> oh, actually, that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I got <a> it. That's a long show because this thing is up like this is actually quite a bit of weight right here. Mm. I already took off my glasses. No, I'm, about to no, I'm committed. It's fucking Halloween. Yeah, I'm not committed to Halloween. <laughs> I have. This is probably the most I've done for Halloween in some years. Yeah, I'm committed to Halloween. I like the last time I actually dressed up, dressed up for Halloween, I did. What's his face from The Hangover? Zach Galifianakis. From this is probably the only the the only show we're ever going to have that actually falls on the day. Probably, yeah. yeah. Which is why I'm going to wear this fucking helmet. The tint in those glasses is killing me. It's like wearing a uh, wearing those gunners. It's light. Hmm. Oh, do you wear gunners? I have uh, chunners, the cheap uh, Amazon version. <laughs> I got a pair of. Uh, they're called Pixel. Hmm. And they're not that bad. I don't know. It's the ones that you. It's the ones that you told me about. Those are the ones that I wear. I had a pair of. I have a pair of those too. These are a little bit better. I usually wear those at work. Um, I wear them while I work. I don't wear them like in Hangouts or anything because they just reflect everything on the screen. Yeah, it just looks yeah. blue and everything on the screen it looks goofy. Yep. It's true. So we're gonna switch stuff up a little bit tonight. No, we're not. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I thought we were gonna gonna, gonna let it get uh, out of the way. We just said that we weren't going to do that. We just talked. To, we talked to. Yeah, we went back and forth like sixteen times. I forgot. Yes. Fine. Can't can wait. I wonder. So, so, so Sean, one. is there is there is there room in there? Or you think my big fat head would fit in there? In this? Yeah. It's a little tight around my ears to get on, <laughs> but there's room once it's on. Definitely wouldn't. And it does. It hatches in the back. <laughs> you have to dremel out some seams. <laughs> Well, there's a hatch in the back, which is open right now because I have a hat on. It'll be the whole thing, Dremel. That'll be like paper thin around the melon. It would look like the the uh, the avocado food. Be the you might actually, it might actually fit your head. It's possible. Maybe if you loop up your ears, I mean, some that dark star. I need mean, the the wide edition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, loop it up with that. I, I have to say, for fucking a hundred dollars, though. This is really nice for a hundred. That's pretty good. That, that's yeah, pretty good, and how it how it opens up the mechanism and such, um, and the, the light up eyes and everything. It's pretty good for. So I I assume that all the magnets work correctly. So Todd didn't put it together. <laughs> Todd did not put this together. That's confirmed. Okay, so that's stick together. Built in the U.S. Yeah, that's good. So. I highly doubt it was built in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it was built in Scotland, we'd know. Yeah. 
the, 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 the face would go poof, flip backwards. I mean, come on, look at look at this shiny. Like this is totally Chinesium. Yeah, that's that that looks like lead paint, dog. <laughs> it probably is. Starting to feel a little loopy. It's gonna push a button. The thing's gonna catch on fire. I took I took Advil prior to the show because I knew this weight was gonna get to me. <laughs> Boo! You got anything to talk about this week? I do. I'm going to uh, start with the bad news first. Oh no. Uh, I'm not going to be at VaporCon this weekend. Oh, no. Why, ah. bastard? I know. I'm sorry, Sean. But long story short, uh, I got laid off from a job, and then I started a new one last week. And I can't get the time off. So, yeah. So I'll throw in a little bit more bad news for everybody. I am going to be at VaporCon. <laughs> that was already bad news, but okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's just some additional bad news for everybody. So, so yeah, uh, everyone whom I'm planning to uh, drink with and hang, I'm very sorry. I fucking hate it. <laughs> I, I really how, do. I love how I'm not nauseous on in chat just said, I'm back. The two-year-old is subdued. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, dude, the kids are crazy today. It sucks. Um, it sucks because if this was any other show, I wouldn't be as upset, but this is fucking paper con. It's the last one. It's a shit show. It's the I get, best shit show. I get far drunker at this show than I do any other. Yeah, and it's the best shit show. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so what else? I showed y'all last week that I got a MyJet. And it's up and running now with the abolishment in there. Uh, I have an incomplete review right now. The flavor's not bad. The draw is fucking great. If you want, just super tight butthole, mouth to lunger. Mm. It's nice. I re it with Chato. It's great. Mm. Um, yeah. The 80-20, however, does not fly. All if you right. vape like I do, like I, how I, I, the thing is I vape this thing just like I did the K-Fun. Yeah. It's just four or five hits in a row usually. Yeah. But dry hits because... Yeah. It's a my gym. So I got to throw some <clears throat> more appropriate juice in here, like 50, 50, 60, 40. Uh, should be getting some of that this week, probably. Get some of that, uh, get some of that Mr. Salty stuff. Huh? Is it 50, 50? Yeah. Word. All right. On the list. So, yeah. <clears throat> Duro got a room for us and everything. Oh, well, I guess I wouldn't have felt as bad about leaving Sean hanging in the room. <laughs> Anyway, so, yeah, this thing is pretty fucking neat. And um, stealth in the office, I got, like, I, I couldn't even go through the whole tank in a day, just stealthily hitting it out of my pocket and such. So, sure. It's very nice. Anything else in my news? Um, oh, yeah, there is one other detail. Put my earphone back in. I got vape mail. Ooh. Oh snap! I got oh, my pissed. Got my limeade. Got my abolishment. Yeah, thank you, Amanda. You know, uh, Anxie. You know when we were when we were you know working on the juices a while back. Remember how we were talking about um, you know getting a, a, a you know a limeade and, and and you know drinking that and trying to work on the flavor. Well. Dude, I haven't had you know like a Sonics, you know limeade, yeah, uh, in, in a in a while. I had a so the wife wanted a strawberry limeade, and I went and got one. And holy shit, I forgot how sweet those things are. Oh yeah, good god. Well, the strawberry like, the worst. I mean, the strawberry is. Super yeah. sweet. The, like, that's why I like the cranberry one because it's not quite as sweet. Yeah, I forgot how sweet that thing was, mm. man. A sweet tea was sweet. I haven't had sweet, uh, you know, sweet tea in, in a few days. But uh, not since man, the accident. Uh, yeah, no, no, C- cutting back a little bit on the sweet tea. So, but yeah, that that's that strawberry limeade was like <laughs> yeah. sugar rush. You know, you know what I need to cut back on, Massey? The fucking monster rehab. Fuck you and Angsty for getting me in my 
Dude, I, I bought. Dude, I, I had bought, three cans. I, bought, I had three I bought, cans in two days. I was like, this needs to stop. I bought the twenty four pack on Amazon because I was spending too much money at the gas station. <laughs> well, Dude, my, my that, grocery store has they had one sale for like a dollar sixty seven or something absurd. I was like, that's that's really good. The dude, well, uh, see the tea lemonade is good, and then I had the pink lemonade and tea. I don't really like the pink one. It's okay, but the the rehab goes so nice with pissed. I like the rojo. I like the rojo, and I like the uh, what was the other one? I like yeah. the green tea. The green tea was good too. Yeah, no, it was it's was pretty good. Well, you know, the, the gas station w- wants to charge here like three bucks. Something. Yeah, it's close to three bucks. Yeah. So, but it's it's funny because the tea is more expensive than the uh, uh, yeah. than any of the other ones. It's yeah. really weird. And it's normal size cans. So, pissed goes good with Monster Rehab. Um, pissed also goes probably the best of anything I've drank so far, non-alcoholic wise. Uh, peach Snapple. Uh, I can see that. Happened to happen. I wasn't going my way to do it. I had a piece of snapple. I'm just like, damn, this is good. I think the the best thing about them though is that they're not carbonated, so it's yeah, yeah that's you know. I mean that that could be good and bad, right? Because it's not carbonated, so you're just like, Pwah! done. But yeah, meh, meh. It's true. But yeah. You uh, anything else? I see. Oh, hold on. Before Brian starts, then there's there's requests for me to blow a cloud from in with the helmet closed. Yes, that's a pretty reasonable request. Hey, so. Sean, if you send me the, if you send me the helmet, I could put probably put some gearing on it so it opens and closes. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I actually I, Sean, I wanna I wanna put like real padding inside instead of the stupid. Wall. Sean gets it back and it's gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna be. All right, here we go. Let's check this out. I feel like it needs some kind of music. <laughs> <laughs> it should be like malfunction, malfunction. Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh. oh this mask. Yeah. <laughs> so scary. It locks it in pretty good. I forgot yeah. about the kabuki. I don't know how much came out. It's a Quite a bit. Mask. Again, my vision is this now. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what did I get this last time? Right? <laughs> I, I, just, I fucking love that you can put it up, though. I really do. <clears throat> sure. All right. Request request granted. Um, request granted. So, Fu had bad news. He's not going to VaporCon. John had bad news because he is going to VaporCon. I've got bad news. We're not going to be here next week. No. Uh, oh. Take that week off. I, and it's my fault. It's my fault. I'm sorry. Sorry to everybody. I'm going on vacation, and I'm going to be out of town, and I probably won't have internet connection. So, no plumes next week. You can catch all the reruns on our YouTube channel. You know, it's always lately. It's been the white people who cancel. Although I think now we've had the the, the three show cancellations that we've done. The only person who hasn't canceled the show yet, I think, is Fu. We canceled that show because no, I think he he canceled the uh, one of the Christmas one that he needed off. No, that was that was mainly Mast though. Mast had the big life event. Yeah, yeah. I canceled one for anniversaries and stuff, and you're canceling one for a vacation. Well, it's not vacation; it's my ten year anniversary. Well, oh. I, you didn't originally say that, so I wasn't yeah. going to for you. Uh, no, no, that's fine. I don't mind saying that. That's it's my ten year anniversary, so my wife and I are going to go on a, uh, a big vacation. It's hot like the dickens in there. Jesus. Basically, <laughs> what that means is there's things more important than you to us. That's they're right. gonna, they're gonna bang. <laughs> <laughs> they are going to do some of that. <laughs> I don't want to know your name. I just want bang, bang, bang. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah we're 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 like that. That. Sorry, what? I said it just makes it funnier because of the hat. <laughs> You need some simple. You need some. Uh, we are going to uh, a, a small <laughs> island in the uh, in the Caribbean, and uh, I'm really excited about it. So I'm. I'll bring back some pictures. I'm sure. Uh, I probably won't be bring back gifts for all you people, but they're going to visit Guantanamo. <laughs> Hopefully not. I don't want to be here. That's, that's what they do. <clears throat> Uh boy. Um. So those are the three pieces of bad news. We're sorry, comma. But I, I don't regret it. It's just. It's just what it is. And we're taking a week off. Um. I do have some not 
you know, not sad news. <clears throat> uh, the runt. So I've now had this in my possession for a while. It is the first time I have had a single battery uh, unregulated anything in I don't know how long. It's been forever. Um, yeah, tan, tan angsty pictures. It, I'm sure it'll be pink. Pink angsty pictures, maybe? Lobster. <laughs> you know, like, like looking like a pink starburst. Yeah, it's possible. I've got basically no base tan. I spent very little time out in the uh, sun this year. And uh, and it's going to be a lot of sunscreen for old angsty. Oh, yeah. Updates available. Do you want to try and install them? No, I do not. <clears throat> I don't um, know. So there's that. So the runt. So back to the runt. I haven't been running unregulated in a really long time. I wanted to try because everybody's, you know, hyped about these little tiny uh, 3D printed swankers. Um, sure, why not? Very reasonably priced. This is the Runt, uh, and it's uh, and I can put the link to uh, to the the group down in the thing, the thingy, my boobers. Uh, but I'll paste it in chat. Uh, can you guys tell so far that we're writing it down, we're writing it in now. The thingy, my boobers. Yeah, the description. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, that's the ticket. <clears throat> There's the. We're on, uh, on point. Yeah. yeah. Here's the group, and I'm going to put it down in the link so I don't forget now. Um, so, unregulated squonking. <clears throat> it's okay. Oh, well done, Foo. Fez yeah, push. Okay. What you know about that, boy? It works really well. Once I got a build in there that I kind of liked, it's a single parallel. After talking to Foo, that's the one he likes to do, so it's good. Uh, after last week, I dropped a wrap, so now I've got a 5-wrap, 3-millimeter, 27-gauge uh, parallel. And, uh, and it works really pretty well in the Hadley with Pissed. Um, uh, it works. The, the thing could not be more simple. I'll pull it out. And I think, because I, I don't think I actually showed it last week, at least not with any great detail. So I'll give you a quick, quick glance inside. It won't take long because there's not much to show you. It's a very simple thing. That's it. Better on that side, you've got a contact that wraps around up and makes contact with your, your 510. And the button just completes the circuit. Bing, 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 bing. Super, super easy. Works really well. And you'll notice I've got a BFX bottle in there. Um, and I've got that in there because I didn't feel safe with the normal cap, which looks like that. Put that in there. Eh, there's going to be metal in there. And like we said last week, uh, you know, any any amount of a, of a nick or anything in your battery wrap. And, uh, I mean, there's just no room in there. It'd just be bad news, right? So you put you put that cap there. It's just... Just asking for trouble. So I, uh, I like Steven's little caps. And we'll give you – I got a little thing coming up. We'll talk about this thing in a little bit. <sighs> Unregulated squanking. I I don't know that it's for me. I tried. I want to like it. It's okay. <laughs> I think at the end of the day, i just as soon have a DNA board and have the same – wattage coming out of my battery until it's dead. I think that's the short of it. And the ability to adjust it without changing your wraps. Well, see, that doesn't bother me so much because once I figured out a, a build, it's the same build every time. It doesn't matter, just like you do. But you do. I did have to go find another build. <laughs> right? I did have to find another build that I liked. And, you know, that took some time. But too much effort. Do I like the vape I get of it? Yes, I do. When I got a full battery and it's you know within the normal it's good. I like it. It's good. It's a well built mod. I just don't know that I love unregulated squanking. That said, my uh, the the, <laughs> the unregulated squanker that I bought from uh, Limelight, it's shipping tomorrow. <laughs> so I've got another one coming in, and that's okay. It's like I said, it vapes really well. I think I. It vapes best when I'm sitting in the house and I can swap out a battery. You know, the limelight is is almost a different beast though because it's super pretty. It's super, super pretty looks super comfortable. Uh, you know, it's it's made out of out of walnut. It's going to be really cool. Uh, but this is cool in a different way, right? This thing costs 90 pounds shipped. That's really cool because uh, does it work? Yes, it does. I just don't know that it's for me. Um, Oops. But that said, that's the thing. I don't want to belabor the point other than the fact that it's well made. I just don't know that single battery unregulated squonking is for me. Nah, that's all. That's it. Uh, so there's that. Let me scroll back up to my notes. Next thing I've got up is the XFIRE uh, the thing. So let's go, let's pop up real quick and show you this. Now, you may remember uh, a couple of weeks ago that I showed you a. Uh, 
an Addy that I managed to land, and it looks like it looked like a D's. <clears throat> this is the uh, so Hellfire or the Athy Smith um, released a, a billet box atomizer, and I was really excited about it. And it's a good thing I was because it's super expensive. Um, the funny thing about it, it's basically like a 14 millimeter atomizer. It works really, really well. The thing that I think is the most compelling thing about it, maybe the most or second most compelling thing about it, they don't talk about it all, which I do not understand. And that is this right here at the very, very bottom, right above the airflow channels. Um, that is actually 510 threading. And what that means is when you build on the exoset, you can thread this into a regular mod, pulse your coils and finish your build, or later on, pulse your coils and clean it back off while you're re-wicking. I think that is awesome. It's one of the things that Billetbox kind of, it doesn't make it very easy with Billetbox to do this. Most things don't do this. The only things that I can think of offhand, uh, the only thing I can think of offhand is the NX Cardo, which fits in the billet box, of course. And also, the uh, since it's a cardo, it just threads in. And then the other thing is the sub-tank uh, rebuildable head with the racing bridge from Matt Mystique. Motherhead's Obviously, asking uh, where he can get one of those. Uh, you can get one of those from Hellfire Direct. I think that's the only place you can get one from, and they're not in stock right now. But they did say that they are working very hard to make sure everybody that wants one can get one. So they are making more, uh, but you can't get one right now. He knows that he's being a troll. Um, but here's the uh, here's a couple more pictures of the outside. It does come with this little black thing at the bottom that uh, lets you adjust your airflow, which is really slick. And uh, and here's the inside. You've got a proper you know a couple terminals for your coils. It's a super easy build. Obviously, there's the uh, the airflow there in the middle. It comes right up from the bottom. Uh, the top bit is not threaded. It just clamps on with that. Uh, you can see the the O ring right here. Just sort of clamps on. It's a super easy build, man. It doesn't get much easier. Um, than, than that. Now, is it expensive? Yeah, it's expensive. But, uh, and, and also, does it displace a good amount of liquid? Yes, it does. It is not small. Uh, there we go. It's not small, but it's it's actually slightly smaller than the Kanger RBA head. Um, so it doesn't displace quite as much as that does. But it does fit right in the middle of your build box four. And I have to be honest, this this might be the best flavor I've had out of build box so far. Um, I really like the Uno. The Uno provides fantastic flavor. This one, we'll, we'll just say that it's at least as good, and it's way easier to build because of those 510 threads on the bottom. Um, I, be I believe that's, that that's probably the best out of the build box. It, it very well may be. I, I think it is. It is a very tasty atomizer. Now, I have had to, and you'll see a review coming up for this right now, so if you didn't get to see the stuff that you wanted to see, I'll shoot a review for it because I don't think anybody has yet. And uh, and I've been through a few builds so far. The, the the first one I put in there was my, you know, the same build that Sean likes, the very our normal Narda build, which is three millimeter, twenty seven gauge, like a nine ten wrap, and uh, and, and that would work. I, I would probably two point five that. Well, that's the well, I tried the three first, and the three was nice because it restricted the air quite a bit, um, but it was uh, uh, it, for whatever reason, got a little burn ring right in there around it like 24 hours. It didn't take long at all before the wick was dead. So I pulled that guy out, tried another one, and then tried a third one. The third one I tried is 2.5, and uh, I think like a 7 or 8 wrap. I slightly <clears throat> spaced them. And this thing's been rocking and rolling for, I think, two days now, um, and has had no problems with it so far. So and, it's still, and it still is performing quite well. Very good atomizer. I really, really like it. I can't wait, actually, to shoot a review for it because it's that good. It's not cheap, though. Not cheap. I want to say it's like 120 bucks shipped from the UK. Kind of expensive, but good. Uh, next up, okay, uh, next up is something we're going to do later. We're going to do this after our guest segment, uh, but I do have some things that I'm going to show you. It's going to be a little uh, angsty, uh, what's going down sort of thing. Marto, kind of like tag time, but more angsty. I just want to throw out, too, that Marto said the billet box is too expensive. And I probably find that to be one of the most inaccurate statements that I've ever seen in vaping. Of, of everything How did I know you were going to bring up the vaping, the, the quality to price of the billet box is probably the best deal you can possibly What What do they run? I, actually, I, I honestly can't remember. Is it 260 I think it's 260 to uh, even <coughs> 400 with a base Addy for it. It's probably the best quality device to price that exists in vaping. Yeah. I... I, I if you like a tank vape and you are willing to play with a couple atomizers or watch, your, watch a couple of reviews to figure out which one you like, 
this is a really convenient tank tank uh, vape. That's all there is to it. This form factor is, uh, well, it's really unmatched outside of like a squonker. Um, it really is. I mean, <clears throat> right? I mean, it's smaller than a really small squonker. What are you gonna do? It's mm -hmm. it's super tiny and uh, mm -hmm. and hard bulletproof. There's nothing to get in there. The only the only open spot is your little airflow holes and your drip tip. Um, plus, there's you know little configurable like customizable things if you want to do that. But the G10 plates that come with it, I think they look awesome. They do. They look uh, really nice. The black ones are good. They're soup. Oh my gosh, dude! I throw this thing around, and I I have yet to have a mark on it, on the anodizing, on the G10. It's it's awesome, it's awesome. Ammo. I don't know what he wants. I zoomed so, up on Mass while his dogs were jumping on him. You should. I'm, I'm glad you did. He was, he was up here doing something. <laughs> oh Jesus! Wake <laughs> up the kid. I'm gonna get killed. Uh, would you like to know something funny? What? I just got a PM. I just got a PM on Reddit. Somebody asked me to buy my buy my rut. <laughs> Uh, it's already sold, my friend. Uh, I, well, it's not already sold, but I, somebody already claimed it. Sorry. <laughs> I probably will sell it though because I've got another one. I've got the I've got the limelight one coming in, and I don't need two mechs. That's for sure. Um, so if I already had to pay for it, I'm probably gonna swap it out. Even though this is a nice mech, I'll probably swap it out. Anyway, I think that's all I got until we do the other thing later. Cool. Uh, um, I need Masty for mine, but. I can kind of start this thought, and I'm going to start this thought by asking you a question, Brian. Brian, what is the worst part about squonking? The worst part about squonking is the same thing that I said was the worst part about squonking before I really got back into squonking, like, or that first time I went full-time squonking, and that is dealing with bottles and e-liquid. I agree. But you'd be happy to know that there's a fix for that now. What? <laughs> Jeez. Um, but I, I require mass to return. Top gear much? I require mass to return in order to show this. That's true. You do. Or, or you know, you could just let him go for this news. Oh, wait. He's still not here. He can't help with that either. Yeah. In the meantime, <laughs> we're going to have to change course. I thought he was only going to be gone for a second there. Um, so to change course a little bit, I will be at VaporCon. Is anybody in chat coming to VaporCon or leave a comment and say that you're coming to VaporCon <laughs> and fucking come hang out because Foo's not going and I'm going to be bored? That's not true. I'll have Cisco and Zen is always entertaining and uh, my buddy Robbie is coming down with. Um, so it will be a very good time, I'm sure. Still not as good. But not as good, you're right. Um, and it's the last VaporCon, so anybody who's done a VaporCon before... It's still probably my favorite, and I have the fondest memories of that event compared to everywhere, almost everywhere else that I've been. From a, a total event perspective, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not so much like, uh, you know, I didn't meet the four plumes there, but I met Mast there. Um, good, Mast is back. Sorry. So, Mast, we have a video about, what makes, about how to make squonking better. Yes, um, and I will say, um, I don't know if... All right, well, let's play the video, and then we'll talk about it. So. <laughs> All right, here we go. Boom. So the one thing that I, I have to assume, my, my only potential worry about this is I have to assume that that bottle was empty. Because if if I take you know what little bit of e-liquid is left and unscrew my five ten and then crank down on the bottle like that, I'm still making a mess. Yeah. So all that's done is is they just put a five ten end on the bottle. Yep. Um. I I don't know. I, 
isn't it just easier? I mean, I, okay, I don't know. I think the, the devices are just getting harder to f- pull the fucking bottle out of. I mean, seriously, how how much you know easier than that is, right? You just unscrew it, fill it, and you're back back going. So you're just making the devices harder to get the fucking bottle out of with fucking strings and tampon strings and all those other bullshit. <laughs> So Speaking of tampon string, strings, don't make fun of this flunker string. That was genius. Someone Whatever. told me that these look like maxi pads. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, I think it's a really cool fucking idea, and I think it'll make life easier. And I don't have a string or anything. Like I don't have a hard time getting my bottle out. No, super I take easy. my bottle out, and then I fucking unscrew it, and I blow the liquid out of the tube, and then I fill it, and then I put it back in, and then I got to flip it upside down to screw it together the rest of the way, and then slide it back up. It's and hopefully during awesome. that process, you don't leak fucking juice everywhere. And it, nope. it happens. It happens to me, and I've been squonking for a while, and it still happens on occasion. And even when I don't make, like, a mess, when you're done, you've still got a little mm-hmm. don't need action going Especially on. Especially with these Sunbox bottles, because they, they seal yes. so much better. So when you fucking crank that cap down, fucking juice shoots up that hose. <laughs> Which you can get on the outside by compressing it a little bit before you squeeze it down and letting it yeah. while you're squeezing it down. But anyway, it's either way, it's a hassle. Mm-hmm. That's, even if it's not dangerous or anything, <laughs> it's still a hassle, and it would yeah. be easier if I didn't have to take it out. Maybe, but yeah. maybe not. I don't know. I think it's a really cool idea. I'm certainly to willing to buy one. Buy it. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna give it a, sh- a shot. That's for sure. I think yeah. what I'll probably end up doing though is I'll end up cranking down on my bottle while it's still in the Addy, and then I'll take the Addy off, and then I'll screw the bottle down. <laughs> so you'll have just juice pissing out of everywhere. Yeah, well, the night that's that's why the Nardo will be on what I use because it's right. not leak leak pro. Right. At least at least it tries. At least it tries. It does pretty good. <laughs> and it looks like the bottle sucked half the bottle up. Yeah, I'm sure it's it. a process where that will be where you know you'll you'll learn the most efficient way to do it. I'm sure. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but other than making squonking great again. <laughs> Somebody said it in chat. I thought it was. I thought it was. So, oh, by the way, there's nowhere to buy one of those yet. They're still coming out. Yes. They're. They're. I'm sure you'll see Scuttlebutt. We'll probably mint it again when there's somewhere to buy them. Yes, because I'll buy one. Mm-hmm. Um. All right, I'm done. Mast. Already? That's all I got. Yeah, we yes. got hurt. We got a guest. Dude, yes. vaping is boring now. Um. <laughs> is happening. Uh, I want. I, I didn't. I didn't get to show you guys this, but I. Uh, I think I took. Uh, if it would have been darker, would have been better. But I took one of the coolest pictures. Uh, these these guys had the best. Freaking, they were all blacked out, and they had the lines. I love the stripping they're, costumes. They were, they, yeah, they were all lit up walking down the street. Oh, it was great. I still it's think cool. that would work better though with EL wire, personally. I, I don't know, man. These are so bright. These LEDs are so bright yeah. that it just looked great. Yeah. Or think, at least yeah. like the black like cloth thing over the face, so it doesn't actually light up their facial features. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, I mean, you can tell the difference in the EL wire. I have EL wire on, and then they have. Now it, it's pretty neat because that that whole outfit it's it's even got reflectors on the back. So since it's all black, you know, you're walking down the street, you're not gonna get you know hit by a car. But anyways, uh, kind of cool. <clears throat> um, all right, so we got Sean's video out of the way. Um, Wanted to cover real quick. I uh, got a few uh, pictures here from uh, El Senor Mooch, and um, this uh, first image here is from uh, his post that he made on, <coughs> excuse me, on Reddit about high-powered married battery cycling is starting. Mm-hmm. Uh, he says, uh, thanks to the incredible generosity of the community, he started the higher power cycling of eight sets of 25 hours and HG2s. Uh, he's been using uh, he's been using it in a married battery testing. Eventually, uh, the iCharger 410, which is what you see on the side, that's a really cool charger, by the way. Uh, we'll be cycling two sets of batteries. There's the first picture, <clears throat> and here is. I just I just want to throw this out there too. I love the look of old elect or old and even a lot of new electrical equipment because it looks picture. like medical equipment, and they all look like toys. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> do so, so what you see there to the left, uh, that's probably the power supply that he's using to uh, supply power to the charger. Yeah. And then out from the charger, he's going right there in the middle. It looks like a uh, distribution board to where you can charge 2S, 3S, 4S. And I know he's in chat, so correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and then from there, you know, you have your uh, uh, your uh, 
batteries there on uh, looks like some PCBs that he's got set up. So uh, yeah, that that I that I charger uh, four ten and there's other models too. Those things are pretty badass. <clears throat> um, and then here's a here's an image of it um, of the screen, and you can see there the cells. So you can you know it's actually giving them information on each cell. And um, you know the voltage and the amperage rating and the mon, all that, really cool. So um, he basically says uh, that's cycling 100 watts. Uh, it's cycling 100 watts ditch discharge and two amp discharge. Uh, it'll better better simulate how uh, using these you know how we use these batteries and understand whether they need to be married or not. Um, each set has already been lightly used for vaping and then cycled gently for 50 cycles to set a baseline for capacity. Uh, after these uh, 100 high power cycles are done, he'll be mixing these batteries in with sets of new batteries and cycling them some more to see if it causes any safety issues or not. Just FYI, I have my own thoughts regarding what the conclusions of all these tests will be. And I also have my own thoughts. I don't think it's going to fucking matter one bit. No, that's what he so. said when he was on the show. Don't you remember when I brought up the question? He's like, yeah, I remember said that's dumb. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I don't know if, does he still have his GoFundMe going? Uh... Mooch, if you're in here and chat, uh, uh, GoFundMe is over. Okay, uh, I think you can still donate using his PayPal. Yes. Um, so Mooch, if you can drop that on there, because uh, you don't want to, you don't want me to put the link. It'll be Mooch at suckmymooch, uh, you know, something something dot com. So dot org. Dot org. <clears throat> um, okay. Uh, next uh, picture that I'm going to put up, it's going to be, it's probably going to be kind of hard to, to see. Uh, so you guys are going to have to help me. I'm going to zoom it in a little bit. But it's from uh, the cartoon Cyanide and Happiness. And uh, we'll zoom in here. We'll start at the top. And it says, I finally quit smoking. Thanks to vaping now, I can eventually get off nicotine altogether. Welcome to the club, man. Now that you're one of us, we can talk about sweet-ass vape stuff. Check out my rad mod. It's mechanical and it can be easily modified. I've started building my own coils for it. In the clouds, I get absolutely insane, even with low wattage. From down here at the bottom, you can see him. The guy's got his <laughs> vape and the cigarettes. And there we go. <laughs> so. Triple wrap coils, baby, wagon, babe. That's what I was And in the background, it's triple wrap coils, baby, wagon, babe. That's what I always remember that as it is that for you. So there you go. So uh, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, pretty cool. Uh, hey, Brian, you had, uh, you had a picture that you showed yesterday. Did, did you, were you going to talk about it? The uh, upside down thing? Uh, the China is drunk again? Oh. I forgot about that. You go ahead if you got it handy. Well, I, I had the picture. I just saw it in my thing. I didn't know if you wanted just to mention it. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I can pop it up. I can pop it up on the screen. So basically, uh, I just here. threw you a picture in side chat too, Mast. For once you're done, I got the link. Uh, I got the link for it, Mast. If you want to share the pic. Um, the link for which one? The link for the upside down thing you're talking about. Oh yeah, I I have the picture already. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um. Okay, I thought I had the picture. If you don't um, share the pic that I got up right now. Yeah, go ahead. Show enough. Uh, duplicate tab. Share. Application window. Come on now. There we go. Yeah, there. Uh, this popped up on Reddit. Uh, and I thought it was really funny. It's like an upside down pipe mod. That actually <laughs> could be relatively comfortable. The rough vape. Yeah, it might be. It looks I mean, stupid. If, but... if you think about it, like wrap hand here, button right where the thumb falls, and that could be really comfy. Maybe. Uh, it's gonna be. It's super short though. I don't know. I, I it it looks ridiculous to me. But anyway, it's got a lipo. It's thirty bucks. It's on fast tech. It's made out of chinesium. It's got a neat button on top. That, uh, that that at least is something different. Yeah. It certainly is. I Although mean, it's not actually, as different as uh, what, what was that? Crazy so that's that's, that's what I want to show. So I found like the biggest piece of innovation in vaping in a in a while, right? <laughs> you have that picture from Side Chat queued up, Mast. Um, one second. Is that, is that what I just mentioned? Yeah, th this Three. is probably. What you're oh no. <laughs> There's this that is one probably too. the biggest piece of innovation I've seen in vaping. Uh, and we're live with it. Go ahead. And it's coming. 
There you go. A fucking bear mom. <laughs> what? Is the screen in its crotch? Needs, uh, the screen is just above his balls. He's got his... The screen's on his fupa. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Would be Fuba like bear area. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, I think I think that is, is it called a king Fuba. <laughs> like that is where we are going. That is a fucking carved bear mod. And look, drip tip can be taken down when stop vaping. Mm-hmm. Uh, the button. They should have flipped the buttons around. Made it on its nipples. Right? Two nipples. <laughs> fucking nipples, and then you put the button right on his crotch when you squeeze it. Kind of put his belly button. I feel like no. On the on button. the upside, it doubles as a statue when the drip. <laughs> yeah. It does have an OLED display. One of the It's a Fupo LED yeah. display. I think Zen missed a really good idea here. Oh wait, it's even got the logo oh, on that. it. That's a feature. Oh, I think. Does it say anything about the logo? Yeah, logo. Come <laughs> <laughs> my, oh my, oh boy, okay. fucking bear mod, man. The, the bear looks like he's taking a shit too. Bear mod. If a bear shits in the woods, does it make a good mod? Okay. I can't believe I uh, forgot about that. I did forget about one other thing too. Um, and this is kind of unrelated. Uh, it's it's unrelated in terms, but we have started a new thing. Um, kind of a, a community connection kind of thing. We do the the chat here in the show every week, and a lot of you guys know each other and hang out. We decided outside of the show to have kind of a more permanent solution for a chat as well. So if any of you guys are familiar with Discord, we started a Discord chat. Uh, yes. It's a really cool chat service. It's got voice, so you can pop in and talk to people, and it's got text chat, and we have a few rooms set up. And it won't crash when it reaches six. Yeah, it I, I think I think we found the final solution to our chat problems. If you ask me. Well, we can't use that chat for this. It just doesn't work like that. But that chat's open all the time. Um, we've all been in there quite a bit, and there's a quite a few other people from the group who have been in there. So mm -hmm. if any of you guys might be interested in chatting with some fellow hooligans on a semi-regular basis, yep. There's the link. Um, I might I'll I'll add it to the description as well. Yes, he said Discord, not discourse. Yes, discourse is our forum that nobody uses. <laughs> yep. <laughs> forum will be our chat that nobody uses. Right. The one thing I thought was kind of cool is that because I, I think there's some people that are a little queasy about getting on cam, yep. but there is a voice chat in there which is a little little more laid back. I think I think people can probably. More I fully expect it sometime in the future to do like an after show party utilizing the voice chat in Discord. At some yeah. point in the future, I fully kind of plan on doing that. Um, I think that would be really fun. It is it is primarily a gamer chat, so to speak, but you can use it for pretty much anything. Um, Reddit ECR adopted it a while back and really liked it. Mm -hmm. uh, we had one for the own page a long time ago that never went anywhere because mm -hmm. uh, we were testing it to see if we could use it for the show chat. Well, I mean, but it's it's really fucking cool, and if you guys are interested in chatting with us or other hooligans, go ahead and sign up and come and hop in and chat with us. Um, I guess uh, uh did Dean just make it in the chat? No. Yeah, I'll make it just for Dean. Um, I think uh, Mooch was on uh, Dean's show every day. Um, he's got a a spot there, so welcome, Dean, uh, or Mooch or the Mooch. Um, vaping mooch. Let's sure. see the va the vaping bike mooch. So uh, last thing I have is a link to the New York Times, uh, which reviewed a billion lives. Uh, their uh, in quotes say a billion lives claims there's a conspiracy against vaping. And I'll just read a little paragraph from their review. It says a billion lives is a kind of documentary that seeks to get you all worked up about an injustice, but leaves you feeling as if there were nothing you could do about it. It's also the kind of documentary that asks you to accept one set of experts' version of things and reject another's. When you suspect the disinterest parties are probably rare on either side. So, pretty harsh uh, review of uh, the Billion Lives movie. I will put the uh, link to the behind, uh, not behind a paywall uh, link so you can get to it there. And, um, you know, they went on to say... The film, though, doesn't have any suggestions on what the average viewer might be able to do to help break the supposed conspirators' blockade of, you know, vaping. So, 
uh, interesting uh, view on. You're gonna. The you're gonna I'm, I, now I have to go into this. <clears throat> I will. Uh, we we had Aaron on the show a long time ago. Um, I have always been a big supporter of this movie and what this movie could potentially do and all that. But I will tell. I will say, and I, I wasn't going to say this on the show, but I will. Um, what I am 100% absolutely fucking sick of is people in vapors acting like if other vapors don't go to this movie, they're bad people or bad vapors. Yeah. Like it's a bad vapor. This is a, you, you have to remember that this is a for-profit movie, first of all. And Aaron absolutely has the best of intentions. I think he really does. But we needed this movie on Netflix before the regs dropped, and it's, it's just premiering in theaters. Um, so what we needed and what Aaron needs this movie to be have, have parted ways a little bit. That doesn't minimize my support necessarily, but no one's a bad vapor for not seeing this movie. You probably yeah. know most of what's being talked about anyway. <laughs> On top of that, if, if you're kind of torn about it, if you want to go see it, go see it. I support you doing that. But your money's going to go just as far or farther if you shoot 15 bucks to Kassau. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just to be completely honest, like, I'm really sick of all the people out there. Like, if you don't see a billion lives, you're a horrible fucking vapor. Like, it, it's really, it's, it's upsetting me. If for no other reason, that's eh. preaching the choir at that point. That that, yeah. that movie was would yeah, be. Yeah, it's like for I, people that don't. I mean, I generally don't give a fuck if people are gonna say that. I actually missed the New York premiere Friday because my niece and nephew were a little more important. To deal with that, mm -hmm. and, and that's just the way it is, man. Like, see a movie on top of that. This isn't going to save vaping. There's no one thing that's going to save vaping. This can help in the court of public opinion. Yeah. That's what a billion lives has the ability to do. There's no one single thing that changes anything. That's just yeah. the rule of life. There's no one, there's no silver bullet at all. But I'm just, I, I've seen it a lot, and I've seen a few advocates do it too, and a few people in that community, and I've just seen a lot of, like, if you don't see this, you have no right to call yourself a vapor, and I think that's disgusting. Oh, whatever. Fucking people are going to be assholes. They need something to be an asshole about. Yep. Uh, well, I will say that my, my impassioned speech might be a little diminished by the fact that I'm wearing a plastic Iron Man helmet, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and that's all I got on to our guest. All right. Um, Fu, your guest, your thing. I love, I love the dude, but I don't know his stuff like you do, so... This is Some all people funny. say his sideburns need fertilizing once a year. Some people say, well, fuck, it's twisted messes. Oh, <laughs> what up, y'all? <laughs> Gotta mute yourself, dude. What up, Kent? Uh, we didn't tell him that part. No, he did. I didn't tell no, him no. that part. He did? Hang on. Oh, he's, well he's hit the little button I'm at muted. the top. Yeah. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Sorry for putting you to sleep earlier. Hey, no, I was listening and I took notes. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't oh, take notes. That's not. We, that's not necessary. What's going on, man? How are you doing? Thank you for coming he on. Does have notes? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't take notes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to look at the camera, all right? Man, um, you know what are you gonna do? Uh, so, who uh, who are you, and what do you do? In case people are uh, uh, not uh, I'm really bad at this question. He's um, a big god for one. He is a God, bro. What? Yeah. Yep. That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> a big God. That's it. <laughs> so um, let's, let's rewind that. If you don't want to answer, do you want to answer that question? Sure. Oh, dude, yeah. you got those things in the background. What? Okay, I'm gonna get really easily distracted. I just noticed Mast has that those dope electronic digit changing things. That was like the Nixie two. Yeah. Clock. He, yeah. he also, if you look on the other side of his screen, he's got uh, nail care products. Yeah. What? I don't wall, judge. Wall of uh. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that's funny. That's the. I, that's I run. The... I, I run the nail salon right next door. <laughs> I thought that was the August. I thought that was the August eighth wall. <laughs> oh. Nail polish now. I've yeah. Ran the... Twisted messes. Um, I don't know what. Like three or four years ago, I just started building coils, and then it just kind of turned into making atomizers and et cetera. It's turned into a whole company. And yeah. uh, I see you got some solid product placement sitting on your uh, your desk over on the other side to your right. <laughs> well, over here? 
that's just this is like <laughs> this is my area that's just covered with random stuff that I'm testing out or whatever. And uh, yeah, actually, so you're saying that was not planned product placement, is what you're saying? <laughs> no, I have my product placement off off screen right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is just like the mess that is my my work area. Who did your the uh, the Twisted Messes uh, logo, by the way? Who did the art for that? Oh, I actually went on 99designs, um, mm. and I, I just lucked out. There was this dope designer over in uh, Pakistan, and he, he went to town on it, and he put in a lot of work, and I uh, I just kept on nitpicking for you know as long as I had on that until he had it how I wanted it. So That's pretty cool. That's cool. I always thought that was a slick, slick logo, so I just thought I'd ask. So, Especially, it looks even slicker on the Twisted Messes Gold AF Addy. <laughs> Can you see that right here? No, I can see. I, I, I've, seen, <laughs> I've, I've seen it, but it looks freaking it's, it's ridiculous. Like, pick a bar of gold and stamp it. I know yeah. at least one person in our group that would like it, or that would. Yeah. Yeah, he wouldn't. He wouldn't even like vape it. He'd just have it because he doesn't use drippers much. But, yeah, that works. That works. But uh, use drippers? That's weird. Not, not really. I don't think he's he's a tank guy. He's a he's a tight butthole vapor. Mm. But, um, yeah, the Twisted Mess is one. I'm trying to remember when it came out specifically. Could you, could um, in? It was in the very end of March of 2015, so a little, like, year and a half-ish ago. More than that. <laughs> I was curious, because it vaped great. Um, no offense, but I could not get past the aesthetics of the V1. Yeah, but a lot of people it, didn't like it. I, it vaped like a motherfucker, though. So... It was good because uh, I mean, what went into your your head for the design of it? Because if I remember correctly, like I want drippers were kind of stale at that point. Mm. We're yeah, stale. and the thing is, like at that time, I didn't really care that drippers were stale. I wasn't trying to like make a mass market product. I wanted something that worked well for what I did, you know. And so it was a collaboration with Comp Vape. He did all the majority. He did all the design, and I just kind of like gave some feedback on it and stuff. So um, it's pretty much he borrowed a lot. Of stuff from the El Cabron, which was his first RDA. And uh, here's a, an image, Sean. I'm gonna put an image up while he's talking about it of the V1. Yeah. And so we changed the top cap, made a blue ring, and then made the four post holes. Because back then, I mean, with the plume veil was popular and stuff. And at that time, like it was a very, very small community of people who built the coils that you need these kind of post holes for. And yeah. so it was really built for you know the builders. Um, made for the builders, and uh, yeah, <clears throat> well, I like the things, aesthetics. I don't know. <laughs> well, one of the things that left out to me uh, with the V1 was uh, uh, it shipped with both rings, didn't it? Like the blue one, and also was like a silver one or something. I think. Uh huh. Yeah, which I thought was at, at the time there wasn't a whole lot of like from the factory customization that was going on. I thought that was a pretty cool feature because my thing with the V1 was was really attractive. If it didn't look like this, I didn't give a shit about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, oh, that was now. The drippers then. Now, how's that for customization? I know, oh, right? Shit. And the colors always looked so good. They did. Yeah. yeah. That red. Well, the, logo, the logo just just looks great on on any of them, you know? Yeah, that maroon looks yeah. solid. I haven't seen that upper right. Yeah, that maroon looks really good. Yeah, the maroon had issues, actually. It peeled off really fast, so I discontinued that. But I have oh, anodized, like, aluminum bread now. I gotta do that. Maroon's one of my favorite flavors. So here's flavors. my flavors of uh, colors. I got, a, I got a thousand of them if you want some. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is what I want to know because this is what I'm curious about. As a builder, and as a builder who goes back quite a ways, like you were one of the first like mm -hmm. big name builders, so to speak. Do you vape your builds like that all day, or do you just vape like a normal coil? And <laughs> No, dude, I can't vape normal coils anymore. Like, I ruined myself for, like, micro coils or just regular parallel coils, like, over three years ago. I remember because I used to, when I first started, I, I could do these clean parallel coils, and I thought it was so cool. And I just enjoyed making them, so I'd be vaping them all the time. And then I switched, you know, Derek Small came out with a Clapton coil, started making those. They didn't really perform back then. But then the Fuse Clapton, the zipper coil, the twisted wires, like, the, the flavor benefit was so crazy. Like, one day I was just like... I think I was doing like a promo for Anarchist Wire for Dwayne or something. So I made like just a super clean parallel 26 gauge coil. 
and I fucking vaped it, and I was like, there's like no flavor at all. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the I was like, what's wrong with this? And I realized, like, oh, shit, it just it doesn't taste as good. And so, no, I'm, I'm fucked now. I, I can't do that kind of thing anymore. The funny you say that because uh, one dude I know locally, I go and I give him this. It's, it's this build. Like, he vapes, like, super-duper Clapton's on a dripper on a tube mech, whatever. His vape, it's like, you know, I always, this is the description age. Like, he pulled off a manhole cover and just stuck you, just dunked your head in. So I give him this, he's like... I can't taste anything. I'm like, of course you can't. <laughs> of course you can't. 45 watts is like doesn't exist in your spectrum. Right. It's, yeah. It's funny you asked that question, Sean. That was actually what I was going to ask you. Was when's the last time you vaped a regular round wire like <laughs> coil? Like, do you own a K fund, dude? <laughs> <laughs> what I was what I was kind of expecting is, you know, we had Kurt on a while back, and I've had a lot of conversations with Kurt, mm. and we, I mean. I have even sat with Kurt and, and made fun of like sick cloud guys because Kurt is past a lot of that stuff. So here I'm thinking maybe Kent just vapes normal coils and takes fancy pictures. Nope. nope. Uh, I don't even take fancy pictures anymore, really. Like I'm so busy with running the business. Can't like confirm. I follow him on Instagram. He does not post sick builds anymore. Boo. <laughs> the yeah, sick exactly. builds are a springboard to making money. Again, proving that we're the only people dumb enough to continue doing shit for free in this industry. <laughs> Springboard to make money. It just kind of happened, dude. No, that there's Mooch. Mooch, still. Mooch is in our league. True. But, no, that was that was a self-deprecating joke, not a slight on you, Ken. But you guys have a juice line. It's not like you're not trying. It doesn't make any <laughs> money. <laughs> here's here's the truth. We vape so much, but we buy enough, and then we just just Instagram it and be like, "Whoa, hype, 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 hype!" That's that's our savings. We buy cheap juice. I tried. <laughs> I, I tried. Uh, I tried making soap last year. We, we just deal juice, and so we could vape for free, man. Didn't go anywhere. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. I hear him. <laughs> <laughs> candles are the new thing now. Scented yeah. candles. Yeah, scented candles and soap. And, and beard yeah. oil. Don't forget beard oil. Beard, 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 beard oil. Ben, yeah. I mean, that was everybody's first option to get out of vaping, right? Now that's yeah. sexy. Dude, you, you, dude p- vapors should be getting into the juice makers, should be getting into like the, the, the pre-toilet sprays. Yeah, remember, I was going to say that. Remember, yo, remember I told you about that shit like, when I was working at Enjoy? They had in the office that, that shit called poopery. Yeah, <laughs> my first day at the Enjoy office, I'm like, "What is this?" Put a little bit in the water. Yeah, you spray it, but if anything gets beached or comes up, it's nullified. Yeah, dude. Yeah, absolutely. You beach it. It's, it's no. There's no help enough. Mm-hmm. It's a wrap. It'll just you'll just have slightly better smelling shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, I suppose I'll, I'll get the the dark question out of the way too before we talk about some of the cool stuff that you've done. Uh oh. Um, what What's your plan when vaping is dead? I knew this was coming. Yeah. I've been cornered. I've been... Oh, shit. <laughs> We're going to get him on the show. <laughs> you know, that trigger you okay. Did that if, trigger you, bro? If we, thought, <laughs> if we thought you were dumb enough to not have a backup plan, we probably wouldn't have asked. Okay. Uh, no, I just thought yeah, I, know, dude, I don't have a backup plan. <laughs> What the heck? Why do I need a backup plan? Wait, do you have like a Scrooge McDuck room behind that door where you just he's, have uh, your He's actually got a... Just... He swims he's... in money. Oh, oh God! I'm gonna open it. <laughs> yeah, it's still there. It's still there. <laughs> <laughs> Scrooge McKent. There you go. He's got a a, a twisted GoFundMe, and you can find it at mm-hmm. GoFundMe forward slash twisted <laughs> messages. I have multiple GoFundMe's. I'll link them all. <laughs> Fair play. And don't, no, forget yeah. to, don't forget to men- mention the Patreons. <laughs> yeah, I've always. Patreons. I've always been resourceful it's fine oh you know armageddon who knows you know the whole economy yes. collapse at any time wait I, okay funny you mentioned resourceful i heard a story from VaporCon west a year and a half ago that you managed to live off of money you wanted a slot for a very long time yeah i don't spend a lot of money i'm not i'm not like a super fancy guy or anything but um because I know you guys probably thought like man that guy's fancy and uh you guys be god uh, that never really crossed my mind yeah no all right, but yeah, well, no, that's, that's not as good that, as the that was so fun though. Paper con West story though. Yeah, we we uh, because I don't I don't go gambling like um except at those conventions because they're always for some reason at a casino and um and so <laughs> we had lost a bunch of money and then, homeboy had his 
I had like the last twenty dollars in this slot machine, and then so me and Squid Dude both put money in there, and all of a sudden it was up to like eighty. I'm like, let's cash this out and go to the roulette table and put it all in black. <laughs> so <laughs> we did it, and it worked. And we just kept doing that. We did it like four times, and we all walked away. Well. I think they actually gambled most of it back, and I was like, this is $800. I'm not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, I lived off of it for, I think it was like three weeks, something stupid like that. Right, that's rent money, man. That's pretty yeah. good. So yeah. I, I do believe that was, the same, that was the same show where there was the massive troll on Nick. Yeah, it was killer. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. A little, I've talked about that a little bit on the show before, but that's Are we allowed to talk before. about that? Um, I've I've said it on the show before. All right, sorry, Nick. I, it looks like you know he's given the green light here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. 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 I, I don't think Nick watches anymore, so I don't think about he it. Doesn't, he's good. No. <laughs> uh, he'll, 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 we, don't, we don't. We don't. We're not like so. Uh, so. He's watching. <laughs> but no, he was just so scared. It was kind of. It was just. It was like a really funny, mean prank because. He sent me some prank text message back before I like had his phone number, and he sent me a picture of you know there's red haired people that everybody says you look like there's some weird like British funny looking British guy who's like a famous musician or something that has orange hair, and uh, he like sent a picture and was like I'm your biggest fan you want to meet and I was like <laughs> I was like I was literally scared because I had just given my card out at this convention like to a bunch of random people I had my cell phone and I was like what have I done. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> got a pretty mouth. <laughs> and I googled his number. I saw it was Nick Green. Like it's literally, you can Google it, and it shows that it's him. So, so that. but then I had a Reno phone number um, from the last uh, business that I had, and um, <laughs> it, was, it was hilarious. So he was from Reno, or he lived in Reno, and then he moved to San Diego. So he, I was like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's all good. I was like, when I when I flew in to Reno, I sent him a text message from that number, and it said, "Welcome back to the Magic City, old friend." <laughs> 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 and he didn't respond. <laughs> and he told me later, he's like, "I don't know anyone who would ever say that to me. Who would actually be my friend?" <laughs> he didn't think it might have been flaked. Got, I mean, that that shit got so crazy though. Because yeah. everybody but Nick was in on it. <laughs> <laughs> so people were like pitching Kent suggestions of what to say. When Josh left, he knocked on the door and ran away. And then right afterward, Kent sends, I'll be back when your friends are gone. <laughs> <laughs> so Nick's in his hotel room freaking the fuck out with all of us sitting in there. Oh, yeah. that was... That had to be one of the most fun fucking evenings ever. It was that just was the it. best convention. This, this makes me more upset I'm not going to Richmond because I probably do something a little bit. Yeah, dude, I, I, like I mean, it, he was but... right out the, I because I remember the like the trigger text, and that was the, I'm at your hotel room, hotel room number. <laughs> How are you? And that was the trigger text, like the one that got Nick freaking out. <laughs> It was so mean, dude. Oh, he still he still won't talk about it. Like if I bring it up, you can tell he's visibly upset and doesn't respond at all. I'm just like, ah, he'll get me back someday. Real quick. Should I text him right now saying that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it can't get much worse. I mean, I, I mean, I could just take a picture of like my arm fold and just send it to him. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, yeah, let's, yeah. let's 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 do that now. You might not like the picture you get back. <laughs> Oh, I've already seen the worst. I've already seen the worst of Nick Green, man. So have you. Right. This is the guy who sent me like three pictures of him peeing, though. So. Sure. Yeah. So the uh, first time that I saw Kent on YouTube was fucking focus. I don't remember how long ago that was. That was forever ago, and it was uh, it was this dude got this ginger dude with these chops building a coil that didn't need a wick. <laughs> and I was I was like, what? Because I was kind of, you know, still pretty new in the rebuilding thing. I'm like, that's freaking cool. <laughs> yeah. so, was that like early? That had to have been like 2013 or 2014 or something. 
Yeah, that was uh, something like that. I actually, yeah. like, before I knew how to use Instagram at all, because I never had an Instagram account or anything. I had a Facebook, and that's where I was mainly active at the beginning. And I would use my Instagram to make the pictures, edit them, and make them look, like, palatable for Facebook. Mm -hmm. And so I had, like, 500 pictures on Instagram with no hashtags or descriptions or anything and zero followers. Yeah. And then um, and their Wickless Coil is, like, one of the first ones that I put on there. It's super ugly, but it did work. Yeah. But, and at the very, that's what was so fun at the beginning, because like if you come up with something new in coil building, like everyone tells you, that's retarded, like you're yeah. stupid, there's no point in it, you're wasting all this time, and it was like, I don't know, I got addicted to it early on of building coils, because I was like, what else could I try, you know? And that's what was so cool, is like, and I, whenever someone would say no, that's impossible, I would just, you know, make it work. Yeah. And, um, and the wickless coil, that was, I thought that was pretty neat, dude. Like It, it was. And to be honest, I, I was like, okay, that's that, there's no way that's going to work. And so, and I built one. I'm like, that that kind of works. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I was shocked. <laughs> like, it's impractical. And, like, when I go back and try it now, like, it's it's just not a good bait. But, no. You know. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that, that shit sucks now, man. Just <laughs> Well, it does. You know when you first started vaping and, like, you had a coil you used for, like, five weeks and it tasted like burnt hot dogs? You didn't even realize it until, like, you go back and try to vape the same stuff you used to vape and yeah. it's just disgusting. It's like, oh, oh. That's, that's more so been the case with me with juice. Yeah. 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 Like, juices I – there were ju juices that I enjoyed, like, two years ago. I may enjoy. I may not. Like, it's, it's a big toss-up. Yeah. Just because I've changed how I vape and shit works differently and, you know. Dude, I just feel bad because, like, my, like, moment with Kent has nothing to do with Twisted Messes. It was when I saw the keyboard that he types with on his cell phone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, that was my, like, wow moment. I forgot I just, about that. Oh, you that in Tulsa? What's that? I think I saw that in Tulsa. No, Kent. Yeah, I, I use it for the shock value. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's amazing and mind-blowing, and I don't understand it at all. What's yeah, it called? Actually, I forget. It's the message ease keyboard. Um, and uh, I'll just show it to you guys. Make sure. I'm, I'm going to look it up in the app store. Yeah, it takes about two weeks before you don't want to throw your phone anymore. But um, <laughs> once you learn it, like it's, I can type like 45 words a minute with my thumb. Was it message ease? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> It only has 500,000 downloads, so... At least on the Android app store. That's because it's super complicated. <laughs> <laughs> it takes up half of your screen, too. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, like it was amazing watching him use it, though. He was just... Oh, yeah. so here, here's oh, the... Uh, okay. here's okay. the I see the brilliance in it. I don't know if I want to take the time to get used to it, though. Here's the, uh, the video uh, of the wickless coil. Okay, wickless coil. <laughs> I was so young. Yeah. A little bit different than usual, and thanks to Chris Lewis for this wire configuration. It's twisted 22 gauge with two strands of 28 gauge, uh, fill in the gaps, and then flattened with toothless pliers in a drill. But I am obsessed with this wickless stuff right now. I go W. And it's awesome. This is March 2014. Chucking tits, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fat tits. You look like a young Billy Corgan there. <laughs> I really, I really yeah. think a Fallout Boy show name would have been would have been apt. Oh, there you go. So there's. It's basically dry. It's basically dry. <laughs> All right, and then and then the the really one that we wanted to talk about is uh is this one here. <laughs> Minus chops. Yeah, maybe ten so, years ago. That was uh, that was about ten years ago. Yeah. Yeah, that was one thing I'd heard recently in the last like probably six months. So that you speak Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. 
That's really cool. What was going on there? Because I don't speak Chinese. <laughs> but they were just asking me some silly questions. Like, uh, it was weird because um, I just called them up and was like, hey, could I be on your show? And they're like, sure, come in today at 12. And I was like, oh, shit, I have to buy a shirt I bought. And, yeah. Is being able to speak Chinese help with, has that, did that help you, like, do product manufacturing and stuff? Um... I mean, I could lie and say, yeah, I have some special skill that helps with that, but not really because um, I'll be honest. Like, they just type, they, like, write you emails and stuff and on chat with English. And, mm -hmm. like, the only time I've ever talked to them in Chinese is when I was really upset about something. I was going to say to fucking bitch them out about something. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, it's way satisfying because, like, you know, you know, you're working with anybody who's has an issue with something that you need and yeah. – and then, like, you're typing, and they're giving these excuses and stuff, and you're like, what's your phone number? I speak Chinese. And they're like, oh, okay, here it is. And I'm like, mm, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to whoop your ass, boy. <laughs> no, it felt a lot better. And, like, like it, in Chinese, it's, like, super – it's dope to vent because it just feels feels good to vent in Chinese. Like, w Would you like Would you like to, to offer a rant in Chinese right now? That would be fantastic. Oh, uh, sure. Sure. Uh, you're just a uh, in 都这样子,你说,啊,你会说中文,啊,你说一句啊,你都傻,你傻都听不懂,我可以随便讲了,OK?不是我的事啊。That okay? sounds so non-angry too, that's wonderful. Translation, you're all fat in your C-list. <laughs> <laughs> Someone will come through and translate it for you guys. <laughs> oh, that'll be great for you to put the captions on during that part of the show. <laughs> oh my god. I forgot about that. Maybe it'll actually work this time. Yeah. <laughs> Mix up on the Chinese. That'd be great. Like the most fun I have with it is when I go to like big conventions and stuff, especially in Paris, the Paris Vape Expo, because like mm -hmm. I didn't speak French, and so I could just go up to Chinese people and be like, you know, just talk to them and have an actual conversation. It's nice. That's, That's cool. cool. I'm sure, that makes them feel very welcome, happy, especially so, coming from him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, like, what, three words in I had I had a good buddy of mine that I used to work with who was oh gosh he might have been like five two, and just I mean black hair and the as white as Wonder Bread right I mean just a, just a little white guy, and he was fluent in Japanese. So when we went to like sushi and tempeyaki restaurants and something, he'd roll in and they'd say something and he'd go, Brrr, just like just hit him with it, <laughs> and they're like oh and they all freak and they're like this little white guy this little white guy can speak. <laughs> Like, okay, I guess we do have a table for you now. <laughs> we use that to our advantage more than once. <laughs> Dude, it's like it's like when you have kids with you. Anyone will give you a seat on a bus or subway or whatever. They'll seat you early if you have kids. If you know if you're at a place where they don't seat in complete parties, you have kids with you. It's like okay. Yeah. It's <laughs> great. But dude, foreigners in America get the real short end of the stick, though, because they like learn. They like spend a decade learning English. And they come. They get over here, and everyone's like. That's normal. You're speaking English. <laughs> and, and the worst part is nobody wants you here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like at least in other countries, speak their language. You're like, okay, you get it. All right, cool. Here, have a drink. <laughs> yeah, you're like best friends. That's great. So awesome. All right. All right. Well, you got anything uh, coming out? Or you have the Twizzlers message too. Is there anything else coming out uh, soon that you can talk about? Um. Yeah, I have a collaboration RDA with um, Aria built that we actually had fully designed like pretty much the same time I had the squared release. I had this already designed and, um, you know, so there's a couple things like before August 8th I was able to get out. Um, cool. So, yeah, there's some stuff in the pipeline for sure. Nice. Awesome. Any uh, tentative data on when we should be expecting to see that? Um, the, the it should be. It's a couple of weeks now. Um, we're still working out the details. The last thing I heard, because we've been working on it for so long, but the last thing I heard is um, it's just a couple of weeks out. Uh, we should have, you know, stock, and then it's just a matter of getting it all organized and ready. So that'll be through Beyond Bay by Zoom. Yeah, and through me. Oh, sorry. Yeah, wholesale twistedmessage dot com. <laughs> I, uh, I threw a link to your site in the side chat too uh, right. to see all the stuff that can and and honestly, a lot of your friends make. Yep. Twistedmasses.com. Yeah, I like to try to carry, you know, other people's stuff too. Unfortunately, the juice hasn't really done well for my site at all. So um, I don't, I'm not 
getting any more juice, but like for RDAs and stuff like that, especially from other builders, I really like to um, pick those up and help get them out there. The f- That's me, my bad. Okay. <laughs> I thought it came from angsty because I thought it came from That's why he was like, that was, that, that was a very beaker thing you did, angsty. You're like, the <laughs> I just had to be quiet and react anyway. <laughs> yeah, All right. Uh, Kent, Kent makes a lot of really cool Some stuff. Um, he's made a lot of really cool stuff, especially for like the cloud guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a little out of my wheelhouse, but it's very cool stuff in its own wheelhouse. Yeah, uh, the ver- I don't wait. Have I even no? I, yeah, the version one vapor. I know Eric from Titan Mods. He was like on his twisted messes for like ever. I think he still does vape it. What was I vaping at the time? I think I was a Velocity guy or something. When did the Velocity come out? When the Velocity come out? Ooh, I don't know. You want to say it was last April, 2015? Yeah, I was going to say like a year and a half. That sounds about right. That's what fuck. It's been a year and a half? God damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now I've just been on a 22 Kennedy for like ever. Since April. Do you uh, do you have any closing thoughts for us or anything that you want to share with the, the few people that are going to be seeing this? Ha-ha. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> That's uh, ah. that might be the best set of thoughts we've ever had. Very eloquent. I, I approve. <laughs> well, are you guys kicking me off or what? I was just starting to have fun. No, well, no. You, I, you said that you had to leave after an hour and a half. I don't care what I said. <laughs> I before I knew this would be fun. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's fine. I, I was going to show some people some squonking about. Oh, speaking of which, are you, you going to put some squonk pins in your new atomizer? I think you should. I think Dude, so. I know. Too. I get hit up about that all the time. I actually need to pick somebody's brain about that. Um, you should put do. some squonk pins in some of your old atomizers, too. Right. But I should just make a squonk upgrade kit that fits everything, right? Yep. Yeah. Or you could put, or you could put out a 22 millimeter Addy that squonks. Oop. There you go. Not For joking. Russia and Europe. <laughs> right. Hey, hey, the people in the U.S. can still order it from Europe. So. That's right. Okay, there we go. So don't 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 mind me. I'm gonna prep for our next schedulement. You guys go ahead and do what you're gonna do. Yeah, yeah. We, we spent most of the evening not talking about what you do in vaping and more just in kind of having fun. Yeah, oh, that's okay. Well, the name kind of speaks for itself, so. Yeah. Well, I have to figure that everybody watching this probably knows who Kent is because a lot more people know who Kent is than us. Probably. You'd be surprised. <laughs> they might not know you by face, but they, they at least know your logo. I and think I'm about 14 minutes into my 15 minutes of fame. Maybe 16 minutes. I would say that's it's probably that way for all vapors. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. But, I mean, look at it this way. At least you, like, made some cool shit and didn't, like, you know. Yeah. Pose with a juice bottle on your misshapen behind. I don't know. You guys haven't seen my other channel. (laughs) (laughs) One thing I have seen is Twisted Wenches. Should we talk about the vooping video? I think we should. What video? The vooping video? I don't remember making that. The jumping video. Dude, silent jumping? Yeah, let's close this out with silent jumping. Yeah, we should totally close this correctly. (laughs) Somebody get. Well, fuck, Mast is gone. Damn it, Masty! Fuck. Silent jumping. It's YouTube. It's like one of the first ones, dude. Got like 400 views of that thing. Amazing. Oh, oh dude, it's at 908. Several uh, this is going to push me over the 1K mark. This is what I've been waiting for the last <laughs> five years. I don't have many camera or anything. God yeah, we don't have mass, though. That's the problem. All right, how about this? Let, let me do my thing, and then hopefully mass comes back and we can get him that link. Well, yeah, let's do it. That's All a right, really I'll just say... Bye now, then, just in case I have to go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just in case, thank you for joining us, man. It's been a lot of fun. Yes, it thank you. Fun. Absolutely. Find him at twistedmesses.com. He makes cool shit. He used to build cool coils. <laughs> yeah. Previously, now he's, just, now he's just going like this with his canthal. Yes. Actually, no, he used nichrome. What, what he means by he might have Whoa. to go is he has to run to his money room and take a bath. <laughs> Like, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> What's that convincing? Just kidding. You're not coming to East, are you? What, Vaporcon East? Yeah. Where is it? It's in Richmond next weekend. 
Or oh, no, I'm not. This upcoming weekend. No, I'm going to a, Oh, I forgot to mention the shows I'm doing. Oh, well, I'm, go, I'm actually going to have a booth at the uh, Favors Dynasty in Phoenix. And that's in like two weeks. That's why I'm prepping for that, which is why I can't really go to a show between now and then. It's on like the, the weekend of the 18th. Nice. Well, I'll miss you at VaporCon, but people go see him at Vapor Dynasty. Where is Vapor Dynasty? In Phoenix. Okay. I can't Phoenix. hear very well in this either. What? <laughs> they want what you to take the roles. Are you guys doing art crafts projects right now? Yeah, we're doing yeah, crafts projects. Crafts project. Project. That looks dope. Thanks. Those are our vape mats. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, cool. Yeah, you'll find that in the the, the D list section. And we have little towels too. Yep. Oh, I got a wonky. Yes, you made me move shit. Ah, ah. There we go. That's close enough. Close enough to square. We want mast. Yeah, I was going to say we should move over to masties. There we go. Yeah, it's like he's still here. <clears throat> All right. So, and, and this is like, like Angsty's, uh, you know, uh, uptight sort of uh, thing. Thank you for the, yes, it was nice product product placement. Uh, so since Massey's not here, we will do a tech time with Angsty. So I had these bottles for a little while back and, uh, and I wanted to show them to you because I think some people got kind of confused about what they were. Um, they look like these. <clears throat> and what they are is uh, they're squonky bottles, obviously from Sunbox, uh, who make, uh, you know, nice mods that have been around for a really long time. Nice squonk mod box. Uh, the thing that's different about these geese, 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 the things that are different about these guys are normally we've been using these little dudes. Uh, they're called super soft uh, bottles, and they work pretty well, right? Normal tube, little metal top, threads right on the plastic. They work fine, um, but I decided to give these things a whack a while back because uh, Spongebob's Paradise was doing a group buy for them, and I'm really glad I did because they're made really well, and the thing that's really different about them is these are uh, silicone. So they're super, super soft and super squishy, and they seem to be super resilient to uh, staining and, uh, and definitely wear and tear. These super softs do wear out after a while. They kind of get little creases in them and, you know, they kind of just don't seal very well sometimes up here because it's metal threading onto plastic. Um, these silicone ones, though, uh, what's, what's going on here at the top is you've got a stainless ring that it threads into, and yet there's silicone around the outside, or rather around the inside diameter there, so that when you screw the nice fatty stainless uh, seal down, it seals super, super well. Uh, and I think they're really cool. So they're super, super, super soft, even more super soft than these super softs. And they work really well. Now, uh, the, you know, then they fit on in a variety of, of mods. They fit in regular idea and they fit in other things as well. What I wanted to show you, oh yeah, and you can also buy little blanks, which is really slick too. So instead of having a hole at the top, you can carry another bottle with this sealed off in your pocket. And when it's time to re squonk, you pull this guy out, right? And you can throw this back on the one that you've got spare and then put this in your full bottle, which is really cool. <clears throat> so the problem with them are, uh, or is rather, they don't fit because of that nice, you know, that nice knurled top cap. They don't fit in some mods. For example, my specific uh, uh, Evo, it doesn't fit in here because it's just a hair too wide to get that, uh, that, that metal ring up through. So, Oh, Massey's still not here. I was really hoping he'd be here soon so we could play the, the video. Um, so the, the solution that one guy came up with, and his name is Stephen Martin, and he is a lovely gentleman. Um, he came up with these little uh, these little adapters that go on the top, and they look like these. So there's one that's a flush, that's a flush cap, and there's one that's a little extended. I actually really like the extended one, but I can't use it very often. I'll show you why in just a moment. But what it is is you pop the uh, pop the ring off off of your bottle here. You actually just pull that straight off and you end up with this. And these guys just kind of fit. And the, that bottom skinnier ring there fits right in. Oop, there you go. So now you've got the same sort of idea, but you've lost that slightly wider, obviously hard point when you're trying to get it into your mud. And now uh, this guy, you know, can more easily fit up in here with this with this little flush guy. And then the other one is, is very similar, but it's got a kind of a standoff uh, here at the top. And I like this one because it's easy to grab, right? It's super easy to kind of pop that seal and then uh, 
and then fill it. So I think these are these things are really slick. You can get the bottles, um, the regular bottles, at, uh, at from Sunbox directly, and you can get them at Vapen Art, um, which I didn't realize until just recently that, uh, that they sold them. But they do sell them. They are called Cappy V4s by Sunbox. I think you just have to search for uh, Sunbox on Vapen Art. They don't come up when you search for Cappy for some reason, uh, but they do come up when you search for. I think it's Sunbox. You can search for it. You can find them there. There's a warning. They are kind of expensive. Uh, so historically, you can buy these, you know, the old school uh, super softs. You can get them from Rio, and you can get them uh, uh, online from other places as well. But you can get them at Rio. There's like a five pack or like twenty seven bucks, um, and that includes the bottle, the cap, and some uh, tubing, which is a good deal. And we ran them for quite some time. These things for one bottle, it's. I think the full retail is like. I think if you get them straight from Sunbox, I think it's like 16 bucks, but I think Vapen Art's got them for like 20. So it's a super expensive bottle, but to be perfectly honest, I've been using this one for, when did we get these, Sean? Was it, it had to have been a month or two ago. You remember? Yeah, it's been quite a while. Uh, it still looks like the day that I got it. I mean, when I rinse it out, it it's just, it still looks great. And, I, and I've been running a, you know, a relatively dark juice rail cracker through here for the whole time. And you can see even now, um, well, you can't see because you can't see my angle. But anyway, it's it's still quite clear as soon as the juice strips off of it. Um, they work really, really well. So th they're more expensive, but they do last a lot longer. And to be honest, now when I go back to the Super Softs, it feels like you're pushing on a Coke bottle. It's quite stiff compared to those lovely, you know, squirshy, squirshy. Motherhood uh, just said they're 28 at Vapen Art, by the way. Oh, is that right? I don't doubt it. It's because the shipping at uh, at Sunbox is very expensive. So you're, it's probably not any cheaper uh, to get it straight from Sunbox after you pay for shipping, unless you're buying a bunch of them. Um, that said, I know that there is a plan to do another group buy in Squonkers Paradise. So if you are in there, you can wait and uh, and get one of those guys. So I think I think they're a great buy if you are okay with paying a little bit extra because they are definitely more expensive, but they they last longer and they're higher quality. Than these guys because some people and I've been pretty lucky with it, but some people find that the super softs don't seal well um, there on the side. So when you screw it, screw it in, people sometimes people have some leaking and stuff out the side. That is absolutely not the problem with this because you've got smooth stainless on top of silicone. Ooh, when I'm firing my mod, <clears throat> you've got smooth uh, stainless on top of the silicone and it just seals like the Dickens. So that's pretty cool. You can get these uh, these things from a gentleman whose name is Stephen Martin. Of the PH Stephen Martin, uh, they're in the Plumes group. So if you see them around, or you see somebody talking about them, or you see them in Squonkers Paradise, I just ran out of air. You see them in Squonkers Paradise, uh, you can buy them there. Thanks, Mast. You're welcome, Mast. Oh, so pretty. That's all. He's just still making that face at you, Brian, like you fucked up. Um, Mast might make it back. We're still we're we're waiting to see if Mast is going to make it back. Um. Outside of that, remember there will be no show next week. Um, join us on Discord for chat after the show if you still want to continue chatting and throughout the week and whenever else. I might be streaming in fuzzy quality on Twitch Monday night instead. Come see me at VaporCon this weekend, and I don't I don't think Mass is going to make it back in time. So, so Kent. Um, so go, go watch pleasure. silent jumping on YouTube. Silent yes. jumping. Looks I will put it in. I'll put it in chat right now since I have it open. Good. Kent, it was excellent to have you come on the show, man. Yeah, yeah. buddy. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Thank you for having me on. Yep. And everybody, have a good night and a happy Halloween. Happy Halloween's. Happy Twisted Bestes Halloween. No, what do we call it? Clapdoween. Clapdoween. There you go. Happy Clapdoween. Clapdoween. Peace. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>